General quarters, general quarters, all hands, man your battle stations. It was the 70s, and the Americans and Soviets had more than 25,000 nuclear weapons. Both countries threatened to destroy the world if the other country didn't behave. So after high school, I joined the Star Spangled Banner team. This is my story of living life underwater with 140 men. The ultimate mission? Nuking the world. It was in the middle of the Cold War and you know, both sides with their fingers on the trigger. If we weren't there or if they weren't there, I'm sure one side would have pulled the trigger. My job as a weapons officer was to take care of the birds, spin them up and make sure my data told the world that, that you assured mass mutual destruction. If we got a message that we had to launch them, we had to launch them. There was reason and that was it. We pretty much had it planned that if it was an actual message, the key officers would be on. In case somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do, I guess. Do you remember anything about any type of drug issue on board the boat? Oh, no, huh? I don't remember anything about uh, um, legal use of drugs or anything on there. You could buy hash the, a chunk about this big, probably be about that thick for about $7, and everybody cut them into chunks for the number of days we were going to be on patrol, and they would eat a chunk every time they were on watch. <laughs> probably 22 or 23 years old, I'm in my flip-flops, and I'm thinking to myself, we're going to war, and I'm standing in my bath flippers, and we're gonna blow the world up. 